this key is for this car and I want to get it back. Hi everybody, John Hunt with Jay Hunto's Garage. Here to talk about the 65 Mustang right here you see behind me. Never really ever talked about the car. That's what I'm doing tonight. I sold that car back in 1995 because I was in the Air Force and I got an assignment to Korea and I had a new wife and my wife was pregnant. Uh, so I had to let the car go. So as far as I know, the car went to Pennsylvania somewhere to a guy named Pops that uh, buys and sells rust-free, mostly Mustangs from Arizona. When That's where I lived back in uh, 1995 to 96, I spent in Korea. Anyway, so I sold the car and thought I can buy the car back or I can get another car and get uh, and just build another another eight ball, basically. Uh, well, life gets in the way. Kids, jobs, moving. Uh, now kids are graduating high school, so I'd, I'd like to get another 65 or 66 Mustang. I still have the key to this car back here. 65 Mustang that I built with a very dear friend of mine who is now passed named Gene Radke that um, uh, really taught me so much about cars in general, about life. He was just a very, very good man that uh, kind of took me under his wing. I was in Arizona, didn't know anybody, just knew in the Air Force basically. Uh, spent my first two years in England. And when I got to Arizona, he had a car, a Mustang for sale on the corner. And uh, I stopped by, talked to him about the car. And he invited me to help him with the car. So we started restoring cars, 65 and 66 Mustangs, mostly. And uh, just formed a, a really good bond, family relationship type thing. So uh, he, he passed a while ago. And... Uh, I was very fortunate to get to go see him before he did and thank him so much for everything. So um, now I'm coming to the time in my life when uh, I can get the project car, the muscle car, whatever that I want to get. Kids are, are out of school or almost out of school. Everybody's taken care of and uh, uh, it's time. It's time. I'd like to do some uh, racing here at uh, Circuit of the Americas with the uh, what the uh, vintage car, vintage classic, vintage racing anyway. And uh, I kind of like to do it with the '65 or '66 Mustang again. Uh, this car, I put a lot of time and effort, a lot of learning in uh, with the. Uh, Rebuilt the engine myself, uh, put speed parts on it, um, changed the car from an automatic to a four speed, had a nine inch traction lock rear end with 422 gears, uh, front disc brakes off of Granada. I had sponsorship from Pro Motorsports Engineering, my very good friend Boyd Butler, and also uh, uh, Dr. Gas, it's his company as well. Uh, they make outstanding exhaust systems. He was actually the inventor of the X-Pipe, which is so prevalent now in NASCAR and every form of racing and on a lot of street cars. Uh, that was Boyd Butler that did that. He sent the very first uh, system that he designed. Uh, he sent those two systems down to me to Tucson, Arizona, and we dyno tested that at both of them and uh, got really good increased horsepower and torque numbers over open headers. X-Pipe is really the way to go. Uh, so I'd like to get this car back again, uh, if at all possible. This is one of those stories where an uh, old guy gets reunited with a car he sold years ago. He thought he'd never see it again. And uh, 
Uh, I would really like to have this car. The last, I had a roll bar in it, racing seats, uh, the whole works. It was all race car and there's no way I could leave it with my pregnant wife and while I was uh, gone in Korea. So anyway, I'd like to get the car back and uh, use the key again. That, that's my dream. Now, if that doesn't happen, that's okay. Uh, in this video, you're going to see a uh, 66 Mustang GT that is here in Texas. It's not too far from my house. I drive by it quite often wherever, whenever I take the dog to the dog park. And uh, I've stopped and looked at it. I've stopped and talked to the neighbors about the car. Uh, some, uh, I guess an older woman owns the car and it's on a lot, it belonged to her brother, and it's just sitting there decaying. Uh, it's a 66 Mustang Coupe GT Ember Glow, um, 29 four barrel obviously, with um, disc brakes, the trumpets in the back, everything. It, it To me it looks like a real GT, automatic unfortunately, but it looks like a real GT and uh, I'm gonna keep stopping by I'm gonna keep leaving a note on it and I'm gonna see if anything comes of that and uh, would love to get that car and restore it as a uh, uh, project car really like to get into a good restoration project because uh, 65 and 66 Mustangs are um, what I uh, really what I learned on and what I know the best. Um, that's a story about the car. I hope you enjoy the video. If you see the eight ball or if you know where it is, please give me a call. Uh, shoot me an email, comment on the video. Uh, I'd love to buy this car back. I, I'm hoping that it's still in the same condition it was or better when, uh, uh, when I sold it. So that, uh, yeah, I'd like to pick it up again. I'd like to, it would mean a lot to me. Thanks, and I hope you enjoy the video. So this is a 66 Mustang GT. I just talked to a couple who live in the house next door that say the uh, woman owns this car in the lot and she's not ready to sell it yet. What a shame. GT gas cap, stripes, air conditioning, pony interior. This could be a beautiful car. Disc brakes. I could fix all of that. If I can just get in touch with uh, this lady. Automatic, wood steering wheel, bony interior. Not exactly a barn find, but worth restoring. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button. It's easy to make a YouTube account so you can be a subscriber. And it's free.